Saudi Arabia, known as the birthplace of Islam and a nation that upheld its traditional values and strict interpretation of Islamic law, is currently undergoing a seismic shift in its societal norms. This change has been especially noticeable over the past decade, with the nation transitioning from a conservative society to one that's increasingly adopting Western ideals and norms. This shift in societal norms began with the ascension of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to power in 2015. With a young demographic about two-thirds of the country's population is under 30 he saw an opportunity to reform the nation's economy and society. The Crown Prince's ambitious Vision 2030 plan aims to diversify the nation's oil-dependent economy and to modernize its societal norms. External pressure, particularly from the United States, has also played a significant role in Saudi Arabia's westernization. By transforming Saudi Arabia to align more closely with Western norms and democratic ideals, the US stands to benefit from broader market access for its businesses. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia cherishes its relations with the US and wouldn't want to jeopardize this connection. This could potentially be a reason why Saudi have responded positively to these pressures. A part of this westernization drive has been the loosening of some of the most conservative aspects of Saudi society. In the past, for instance, Saudi Arabia was the only country in the world where women were not allowed to drive. However, in 2018, the nation lifted this ban, granting women the freedom to drive, which was seen as a significant step toward gender equality. Similarly, women's dress code in the kingdom has been relaxed. The abaya, a full-length black robe women were required to wear in public, is no longer enforced as strictly as before. While most women still wear it, they now have the choice to adopt a more liberal dress code, a right that was almost unthinkable just a few years ago. Concerts and entertainment, previously banned, are now commonplace in cities like Riyadh and Jeddah, the nation hosted its first ever concert in 2017, and international artists like Mariah Carey and BTS have performed there. This decision for a shift towards entertainment is controversial, considering that these cities are in close proximity to Mecca, Islam's holiest site. Saudi Arabia's rapid embrace of westernization and the contradictions it brings can be clearly seen in the world of football. The nation's professional football league has drawn international stars such as Cristiano Ronaldo, as part of the deal to get Ronaldo on board, Saudi authorities bent the rules to allow him to live with his girlfriend, which goes against the country's regulations prohibiting cohabitation outside of marriage. This incident serves as an illustrative example of how traditional laws and societal norms are being relaxed, at times selectively, to accommodate the inflow of Western celebrities and ideals. Critics argue that this swift westernization is harmful. They contend that the rapid societal changes are eroding the nation's cultural identity and Islamic values. There are concerns that the liberalization of societal norms could lead to a decrease in religiosity, a cornerstone of Saudi identity. Some critics also see the liberal reforms as a distraction from political issues. They argue that these changes divert attention from the nation's lack of political freedoms and human rights issues. However, proponents of the westernization process argue that these changes are beneficial. They see it as a necessary step toward modernization, fostering a more inclusive society that values diversity and individual freedom. Supporters also see the liberal reforms as a way to improve women's rights in the country. The driving ban lift, the relaxation of dress codes, and the introduction of more opportunities for women in the workforce are all seen as steps towards gender equality. Moreover, proponents argue that the liberalization of entertainment and cultural norms can boost the nation's economy by attracting foreign tourists and reducing the money Saudis spend on leisure activities abroad. This could help diversify the economy, a primary goal of Vision 2030. The process of westernization is not without its challenges, but it represents an attempt by Saudi Arabia to balance between preserving its cultural identity and embracing modern societal norms. The speed and extent of these changes have been surprising, indicating a strong political will to reform. However, this rapid westernization process also highlights the inherent tension in Saudi society between the desire for reform and the need to preserve religious and cultural values. This tension will likely continue to shape the trajectory of the kingdom's future. To conclude, the westernization of Saudi Arabia is a complex, multifaceted process with both positive and negative aspects. It marks a significant shift in the kingdom's societal norms, driven by a combination of economic, social, and political factors. This process, while controversial, represents a critical phase in the nation's evolution. As Saudi Arabia continues on this path, it will need to navigate these changes carefully, balancing between the need for reform and the desire to preserve its cultural and religious heritage. 
Whether this westernization process will ultimately lead to a more inclusive and open society remains to be seen. Thank you for watching Middle East Info, your insight into the complexities and dynamics of the Middle East.